Now it's time to create the backend database. This is a model view controller app, meaning that the model, which is the data, the database, the business logic, is in the background and separate from the view, which is how you look at the data, which is separate from the controller, which is how you manipulate the views and how you manipulate the data. So anyways, I'm gonna use Michael's SQL Workbench here. Um, and instead of PHP my admin and I'm gonna create the database I'm gonna talk a little bit about database design but this is not an extensive uh, database des design course here so anyways so I'm gonna use this uh, visual one here I'm gonna call my database my password manager which is the same as the app for the most part and <clears throat> in database design it's it's nice to be particular, you know, having last created versus last create uh, can make things difficult. So I'm going to try to pay attention to that. Now, the function of this application is to allow someone to log in and retrieve their passwords for different sites. But the first thing I'm going to create is a table with the roles. This is maybe an admin versus a user. Uh, and those are the only two things I can think of. I'm going to have all, in almost all my tables a, a couple common columns. So one is ID, which will be the primary key, and auto incremented. In this one, I'm going to have description, which might be admin. Um, 45 characters is fine. I'm going to make it be unique, and it can't be null. Now, in every table, I also want to have date created which is tells me you know when this was added to the table and that's not going to be null and I'm gonna have last updated last update let's see if I can get this right last update and that's gonna be a timestamp so anytime the data is changed it will change the this field this way for reporting I can know um, what fields actually I need to update if I have a reporting server for a small amount of data it doesn't seem to make much difference but I like to have that in there the second table is where you're gonna log in and this will be the users table and again I'm gonna have ID as the primary key auto incremented and this is where you're gonna be logging in so you could have a username and a password and of course date created just like I said which is a date time and a last update which is a timestamp now Here's a big question. Do I want username to be unique? Do I want someone to be able to log in with the same username as somebody else but have a different password? There's no reason why you couldn't do that, but I'm going to keep my username unique just for now. Also, looking at this varchar, um, I want to hash the passwords just to show I do that. So I'm going to have 255 as, as the size of my password. Also, I don't like short usernames. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make that 255. And I could set the default in, in MySQL Workbench. Everything has to be included. They cannot be null. I do not like null generally. But the only thing that has to be unique is the username. The passwords could be the same. Okay. Next table. Sometimes we forget our uh, usernames. And what we have to have is an email. And I keep this separate um, from the user table because someone may want to have more than one email. Also, I don't require it for a user in, in this case. So you're not required to have an email. I've seen people um, use, and I'm talking in, in big businesses, where they have used, uh, sorry, it's hard to talk and type at the same time, um, email as a, a username, as a primary key, um, and I've just seen problems with it. Um, you know over time either people don't have emails so you end up doing fakes you end up a lot of bad data and we want to avoid bad data as, as much as we can okay 
Now again with this, do I want my addresses to be unique? I only want one email address per user. I don't want uh, two different users to have the same email. That people may do that if they try to create a, a new account, forgot their email, but um, the application will have to take care of that. Everything else um, needs to be uh, not null. Okay, and then the meat of the application, which is the data that for the reason to exist, and these are the passwords, because it's a password manager. And we're going to have an ID just like all the others with the primary key automatic incremented. Now, the first field is going to be location, and this might be something like Bank of America. Um, definitely do not want that to be unique because you may have two users with. Uh, with a, a Bank of America login and then I want my username and password these will not be hashed or hidden um, you need to be able to get these and you can't reverse hash so this is not going to be we'll talk a little bit about security um, but they created and last update okay uh, location cannot be null but it ha is not unique username definitely not unique but not null I may have the same username on several different sites and again those also will not be null so here we go this is the meat of our data here now that we have these tables defined, we're saying someone will log in, we'll check their role, which will give them permission to do different things. They could be synced to an email, so in case they forgot their password, the, an email can be sent, um, allowing them to log in. But the meat of the data here is passwords, and you can have a location, such as Bank of America, a username and password, and the date created and last updated, date created and last update is for reporting purposes. Now we're gonna connect these. Okay, we're going to connect these by saying um, every user has a role. And I'm going to say you are connected right here. Now it automatically creates this foreign key here. Some people believe in composite keys. I do not. Um, the primary key, composite primary keys, the primary key is uh, ID. Uh, username um, has to be unique, but the only primary key we have here is ID. This is not a primary key. Um, it's just a uh, foreign key to this table. Um, I can have uh, one role w um, per user. Um, the reality is that um, many, every user can only have one role. It can't have many. Okay. Now this same, every user can have several emails, but every email can only have one user. If I move this over a little bit. It will be a bit, little bit more visually pleasing. And then. passwords that we connected to user. Now this one says an identifying relationship which gives me a composite primary key. I can edit that here by just saying the foreign key is not an identifying relationship and then we're back to having a non-composite key there. So that's my database. First thing I want to do is save this model so when I make changes later I'm going to save it as my password manager and then I want to put it out to the database and I'm going to do that by doing this forward engineer and it's going to go to the local host that's all the, the SQL code there if you wanted to see what was actually being done and there we go we're out to the main database now I could go here and log in or look at the databases and see my password manager there with all the tables I can also verify this by uh, looking at um, PHP my admin and when I refresh we see that it's right there now I find actually PHP my admin an easy way to enter in stuff so if I go to here to my password manager it shows me the tables and I can go to roles here and I can insert and I am not going to put anything in ID because that's auto incremented but here I'm going to have admin as my first role. Date created is going to be now. And we'll have the current timestamp. 
So you can see if I browse here, and that's the SQL code, I have ID of one, admin, date created uh, today, and also uh, the last updated today. I'm going to add another role just to have two roles. I'm going to call this just a user created now. Now when I browse, I have these two roles, and number one is admin, number two is user, with date create and last update. I'm also, um, since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a user, just to show you how they, they will connect. So Kurt Clement will be the user. My password, date created will be now. Now I've got to um, pick a role, and if I don't, if I do this, it says, hey, you said that was required. Oh, okay, I guess I'll go back. Okay, Clement, my password now, role, kind of awkward, but I remember number one is admin. Okay. And since I'm here, I'll go ahead and create an email, insert an email, and the email is Kurt at Kurt Clement.com. The date created is now. And the last update at the current time step. Now the user ID. There's only one there, two. And the reason auto incremented on that error, and so the only user is two. And if I look here, users, browse, Kurt Clement is two. Yep. Now passwords. Let's go ahead and store one here. And we'll have the location as bankofamerica.com. My username, which of course I'm lying. That'd be silly to have that, wouldn't it? Um, now, current timestamp, and the user ID we know is two. No. So now I got some data in my thing, and I find um, um, PHP my admin actually a pretty easy way to enter in data if I want to. I'm going to want to enter in data through the uh, web app um, and not through PHP my admin um, generally. Now here I am in. Um, MySQL Workbench again, and I'm just going to show a couple things here. First of all, I'm going to use my password manager. Colon ends it, control enter executes. You can see it says that. And that just gives me a way to do a shortcut so that then I say describe my, oh, describe my uh, users. And it knows that I'm talking about in the My Password Manager table. And it says here it is. Okay, describes it, tells me and all. Oh, these need to be unique. Okay, and here let's let's show you what the kind of things that I I would do, and I could save these queries. I would say select all from users. So it's going to show me all the users. It says ooh, let's make that up a little bit. Uh, Kurt Clement, my password, and then I'm going to say hey, um, join. Um, roles on um, roles dot ID equals roles underscore ID which comes from from the user table here we are we connected so we're saying Kurt Clement is an admin I don't want all of that data here I just want the username and the uh, description and I want to call that in my report as a role okay so you say Kurt Clement and this would list everybody as an admin I can even even do some unique searches and say uh, select username um, address uh, from users left join on emails um, on emails dot uh, dot uh, users underscore ID equals users dot ID and here we got uh, username with the email Okay, and 
Um, there's a lot more we could do here and a lot more I will do here. Now that we got our database there and I've showed you some SQL queries and I've got everything saved, I am ready to start um, building some of this functionality in my database.